Hey, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome back to Stephen Kilagas, uh, my YouTube channel. Um, just want to talk about the Cook Island and the PNG game. Now, very entertaining game. The Cook Island boys came out strong. Uh, very, uh, very tough game. Um, now, we all expected the Kumuls to win, but not writing off the Cook Island boys. They came up strong. Um, they meant business. Uh, just simple errors that cost them the game. But uh, all up, the Kumuls uh, did not perform to everyone's expectation. They should have been more clinical. Simple errors, uh, head eye tackles, and uh, kicking game of Carl Lambert and uh, Lachlan Lamb was not there. Uh, uh, by the second half, with the big Mac crack busting through. Uh, kind of got them on the front foot as the Cook Islands coach said it kind of demoralized them uh, They were still in the game till the uh, first start of the first half still ball work to the left edge of the Kumuls uh, Which got them the result so as Stanley coach Stanley Tappan said they were to try to play the Kumuls game which is hit up uh, Have the big boys take it up hard and defend hard and that's and and then let the ball work to the centers and to the back line uh, happen later. They did it too early. And I think uh, Kumuls need big improvement. They've got to really show it when they play out the Wales. They're going to, uh, they have to beat them uh, convincingly. And I think from that pool, we're going to go up to challenge the uh, English. Now, English has got a pretty solid team, mostly of NRL and Super League players. But in saying that, um, if the Kumuls show up, I think what I'd do if I was the coach, um, I see that it, uh, Edwin uh, Edwin um, needs to come in as an impact player. He needs to come into the 20th minute and have Ase Boas uh, lead the guys because of his maturity and his, um, he's had years of experience in the Kumuls and he'll bring some sort of uh, structure into the attack. So Ase Boas and um, Lachlan Lamb uh, leading it up with Carl Lambert, awesome defensive effort, um, and then bring Edwin in when uh, the big forwards are tired, bring him in to do a scoot right in the middle and score. So, But uh, apart from that, Kumuls, uh, great job by the Kumuls. Um, the, uh, the Cook Island boys put up a good fight, but uh, Kumuls, too much class, too much uh, uh, defense was awesome, that which kept the Kumuls back in the game. So it comes to our um the wales game the wales boys will are gonna not gonna be a walkover they're gonna play hard but if we are gonna beat them we're gonna beat them convincingly and that'll put the that'll put us <coughs> in contention it'll show the world what we can do um good practice before we play the english um, but i think if we beat the english which we will uh, we will play either tonga or samoa hopefully we play tonga so we can beat them this time to go to the GF. Um, I believe the Kumuls can make it to the GF and to play against Australia and New Zealand, they are superstars. So those are the two teams that are gonna make it in the other pool. And if they do make it, I think our boys can uh, put, a, put a good show. We can even win if the boys believe they can win. You know, you can do anything if you believe it. The, the Tongans, the Samoans showed us so the Tongans showed us they could do it. I'm sure we can do it. We've got the firepower. We've got the players. The, it, it's up to the halves. It's up to Kyle Lambert. It's up to Lachlan Lamb. This is the world stage. You need to show the world what you can do. And if you can show it now, geez, what better stage to, uh, to show the world that you are the best half, just like your dad. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. Great game with the Cook Islands. Sorry it took me a while, but... Uh, what an awesome game it was, but the PNG boys, too good. Uh, to all the Cook Island fans, uh, good luck, but you guys are getting better. Uh, maybe next World Cup, you guys can improve your game and head up to the uh, quarterfinals or even the semifinals, but good on the Cook Island boys. Fleming, back it goes to Ralph. Ralph with a little kick. Oh, it's a pick up. It's a score. Can you believe it? The Welsh, the Welsh have got the first score of the night. Brilliant stuff. What a celebration and thoroughly deserved. Within inches of glory, Terror left again. Another big effort 
This time from Moroa. Has he got over? The referee's not sure. He's going to put the, the square in the air and ask a question here. He thinks no try on the field. But we're going to the video referee. Let's hear from the video referee. Lost no try. Well, Good. just to remind our viewers, the, the team in Greenwood well, Masters, Chaos and Masters Masters with the break, and he has support. Brilliant from Masters. Anthony Gelling underneath the sticks is simply the finisher, the glory man. But at the heart of it all, Essen Masters, brilliant stuff. And the Cook Islanders have their response. Fossard is back with Ralph again, skips it back. Olds with a dummy. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, they were all looking the wrong way. All the olds with a piece of magic. The Welsh have their second. They're back in the lead. 12 8 if he puts this over. And he does put it over. And that will be the final act of the first half. 12 points to 8. Takarangi will try and take them on. Ford's there in support. Offers it back towards that right hand side. Here comes Mola. Mola! Oh, I think he's in! I think he's powered his way in there. That was sheer destructive determination. And he's in, and the try is given. And the Cook Islanders are back level again. What's coming their way? It's Mutsa Takarangi. Reese Williams and Masters in the leap. It's Stephen Masters who gets up there and touches it down. Try confirmed. Back to back tries for the Cook Islanders. And suddenly, it's all smiles for them. 24 seconds to go, worked out wide, back on the inside, they've got the space, they've got the space. Oh, it keeps coming, the pass away, it's not down. It's not down, the Cook Islanders have it back. The way was open, the path to glory was there to see. A look of relief from those in the green and white, of deepest sorrow for those in red. But what a